No, 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 no. Go, my cat army. That painting is the game over screen. It was the concept art that shows up when you get a game over. Game over, yeah. That painting is pixelated as fuck. They're all pixelated as fuck. This game was originally designed for the shitty Game Boy Advance resolution. Excuses. Except it literally was. They should have future proved and made sure that the assets were 4K compatible. 4K wasn't even a thing in like 2003. I, I know what you're doing. Yeah, I can't. Couldn't straight face into. Well, you're not future proofing hard enough, dumbass developers. Also, because of them doing the whole. the games literally being re released. Uh, I'm gonna play this on an emulator with 4K and ray tracing. How do you even do ray tracing with sprites? <laughs> you know what I'm doing. Yes. I think someone had a sprite ray tracing mod. How? That's, that doesn't make any sense. Sure it does. But they're a 2D image. You can't have ray tracing on a sprite. Sure you can. No. That literally is impossible. That was, like, literally, actually impossible. And here's the part where, like, if you didn't get it, the, you know, first boss initially, you can grind him here. Okay, I, like, hold on. Okay, I said I'm not, I'm not going to generally use, like, souls that are super out of the area I'm in for the most part I will make one or two exceptions for or certain things and the wooden golems is one of those exceptions now you can only do this very very late into the game but when you get the killer mantle what the killer, like, what that does, that swaps enemies, HP, and magic, because enemies have an invisible magic stat. Generally, if an enemy is, like, a super large physical oriented enemy, like a golem, they typically have low or negative magic, so it is basically an instant kill on all those enemies. Don't do that on a witch, though. You give them, like, 10,000 HP. Hard mode. I literally am on hard mode, though. So yeah, back to the kitties then. Which I'm using because cats, but also because it is generally useful. Like, look at that, because it's hitting three at times, so that's doing 60 damage. Look at him go. I'm gonna have 4K 60 FPS. Castlevania sprites with ray tracing. No, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. I, I'm doing it for a bit. I know you're doing it for a bit, but that would be a genuine terrible idea. How else am I going to play my Game Boy games? And the intended resolution? Because it's the resolution they were literally designed for. Okay, semantically by default... The this extends the resolution a little bit. Though I think like the Mega Man Zero collection, you can choose to use the original Game Boy screen size if you really want to be that motherfucker. You can. Oh, you can, but it, that'd be tiny. Yes. I can take some slight sprite blow up. I can't, I, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to do that very often, but I hate that enemy type otherwise. I'm generally going to try to keep, like I said, to things that I can 
<laughs> actually get it, but like, fuck the golem enemies. They're just obnoxious health sponges for no reason. Which I say for no reason, the reason is that they don't want you getting their souls easily. Because one of the uh, golem souls is really useful. Oh wait, I don't have to slide, shit. The rock. Ooh. Ow. I love how the, like, a game, you know, introduces the, like, the butchers, and then literally in, like, the same area, you already get a recolor. Evil butcher. Also, I believe bosses are uh, basically immune to the killer mantle. Because, again, that's what that's called. Mm. What does it do on... Eh, it's okay damage, I guess. That's actually... Let's do... Let's do Axe Armor for this. Oh, I guess I can do Axe Armor. I should was the axe's multiple hits and the a bone also doing a lot of damage is not going to it's not going to be that hard. Actually I'd say that the funny thing is I notice the like axe armor blades aren't doing a lot of damage because something this game does it doesn't really tell you about is a lot of like enemies actually have weaknesses and resistances. I think because that uh, golem was made of rock, I believe they were weak. Uh, oh, there's the slide. I, I want to kill it. Though, of course, because I don't have it strong enough. Oh, wait, well, I'm getting unlucky, was it? Now, I don't need to uh, kill this. This is one of those things I wanted to show off because if you're playing the game not on new game plus the if it, the, the that enemy the soul that this thing uh, uh drops <laughs> come on oh, damn it right right the soul that uh, that thing uh drops basically it's a really uh good uh soul because what it does it makes everything in the uh, shop half Price. This is done because uh, there was an item in the a shop, the Soul Eater Ring. Uh, I equipped that stronger weapon I could do. I could kill that. Though there's also a soul when you get much later on, it makes killing that thing much easier. Basically, uh, the like the soul of that thing, like I said, what it does is it makes everything in the shop half price. That's to re reduce the uh, price of, uh, I believe it's called the Soul Eater Ring which makes enemies drop souls easier, and because it's not tied to the luck stat, that drop increase actually does, I believe, work. It's basically there to just turn that into a reasonable priced item. Unless you sold uh, Hammer his eyebrows for three hours and uh, it just built up a shit ton of money. Which you could do. Yes. Though, even if you are doing that, the fucking price of the... Even if you are doing that, the uh, price of the Soul Eater Ring is still stupid. You play IP. You're the one playing, I hope you go pee. Let's go back to my kitties. All the cat power. Though again, it is actually a useful thing because of it being multi-hitting and hitting low to the ground enemies. Because like all Castlevania protagonists, Soma struggles hitting low to the ground enemies. Yeah, 
I don't want to see other than areas I couldn't get to. I don't want to see any, like, walls or anything because I'm walking around with the key thing. Might as well, let's uh, clear in this portion of the map. And while I said I would technically be doing a 100% map, I'm probably going to just get, like, every major thing, like, as an example. Some of those rooms have, like, tiny corners and stuff that aren't filled in. I'm not going to... I'm probably not going to go back to refill those tiny corners in because that's not like a word that I know that technically wouldn't be 100% in the case of the map but as you can see everything again because I already did 100% play through off camera everything is already there so it's like one one tiny corner doesn't really make a difference So if I end up getting through the game in enough of a timely manner, might uh, end up doing that just so people can, you know, can't do that. Eh, you said it would be a 100% map, but you technically left this one tile uncovered. Because people on the internet just uh, love being right. Ooh, wart. So, yeah, I believe you just have to act to evade it. I don't have to uh, use it, so time to continue. Big. What do you mean? I think big uh, golem that should be the boss that we just beat. It's like the uh, mana core and the a uh, creaking skull. It becomes a regular enemy later if you don't get. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. It is. I'll carry him for a minute. Look at that damage. <laughs> I love, I love this soul for how stupid it is. Because it's attacking behind you. Okay. I, I love this for how dumb and impractical it is. I'm going back. I've returned. He's got your back, though. If you can get things to get hit by that, it does stupid amounts of damage. In an area I haven't been yet. He's guarding your cheeks. Look at that, 55 damage. Not 53. Again, this is another soul that actually is useful. Ow. Well, can be useful. I do kind of wish it could spawn in front of you, though. But you need your ass card. I saw the... I saw the thing, but I can't do that yet. So I'm gonna have to come back for that one. Everybody needs their cheeks protected. Oh, Priscilla. Though she can't... Though uh, she unfortunately can't do the uh, funny thing you can do, I be believe it's in uh, Dawn of Sorrow because it would be this game, the sequel. The soul you get from uh, her and Dawn has uh, like the uh, has one of the absolute dumbest uses, but dumbest in that like dumbest in the best way. It is literally an oddly specific counter to one particular boss. Uh, again, can't quite make it. Yeah, I, I, talking about her, I do wonder, like, what does her soul do in this? Now I need to remember what, which color she was. It was right there, because it's slightly different. 
There's a vacuum because he's a maid. Yeah, I know. So I think if I want to... Actually, wait. So I think if I want to hit that, I'm, I would need to either equip a weapon that swing. Actually, yeah, maybe I can just use a weapon that swings down. Where's the hammer? At the start of the castle. Boo. Boo. Hey, everything. Use this hammer. This should. Yeah, there we go. Something, it is. something else funny with the student witch, if you pay attention when you kill them, they actually run away as a cat. Behold my vacuum cleaner! Except it's there to restore magic off of things, but again, I have an infinite use. I have the infinite use uh, ring, so that is worthless for me. Though even in a regular game, because of how up close you have to get to things, I would still say that's rather worthless. Zoinks! It's the Gay Blade! Zoinks! It's the Gay Blade of the Ghost Set again! Well, it's like the perfect time for that. Because it's an anime that was in Symphony, if you, like, pay attention, you're like, look at how shitty this range is. I can't even hit the fucking candle. I have to duck to hit the candle. What the fuck it kind of range is this? As long as it's a gay boy, it is a meme. Yeah, I know. Though, like, because it's an anime from Symphony, if you pay <laughs> attention, you'll, uh... Actually, I beat the... Man, let's actually use its blue soul. Where, where are you? Right there. Oh, wait. Oh wait, no, I can't use that one. That one's for all these specific circumstances. I forgot about that, you know, that one. Oh, Alistair. We're not going to see him until later if I'm uh, keeping up this trying to- Hit you to go-go, baby! Trigger me, baby! Trigger me, baby! You guys will just keep creaking skull on. Because I, like, I know uh, the creaking skull is a meme just because of how stupid the sprite looks, but it does shit tons of damage and has a good it's range. It's the big boner. Yeah, it is. Okay, so uh, Soma bones things, <laughs> Jonathan cream pies them. Noted. <laughs> Can I go to them? Everyone makes this joke. And Ash is obsessed with the booty. Yes. Different franchise, but that was a meme. Ash is looking for the booty. No, everyone in that game is obsessed with the booty. <laughs> you did an entire ass fight through to make stupid booty jokes. And uh, and to make that joke at the beginning, Model A, you choose thought. No good. That was the other reason I picked Ash. Game's not up yet. We recorded that, I just haven't edited that. Now, by the law of the universe, you need to do the you need to put the first zero series and uh, the first ZX up. Oh, can't do that room yet. Well, technically, the funny thing is, I actually could do that room, but again, I actually no way, no, I can't. The soul you need for that is actually behind the ball, so it's one of the ones they take away. So yeah, I can't do that yet. Okay, I actually am going to change off this sword with another good weapon. How fast do you swing? Pretty good, I'll keep you for now. But logically, I'll win the... Yeah, work on it. Yes, zero games. Original ZX. Advent. Oh. Oh, good. We're at the headhunter. Ow. Who said something in some language? Like, all the things in this game, I believe it is uh, Japanese. Because, you know, it was developed in Japanese first, so all voice lines are... 
are in Japanese. Now the funny thing is, the headhunter I believe she's actually weak to a uh, holy. So if you have a weapon uh, with a holy, like, it's actually really useful here. If you have, why did you turn into a flying old woman? Because the like, while well, most things in this uh, game are taken from like various mythologies and stuff, the headhunter is I believe taken from Through the Looking Glass. Which, if you're not familiar with that name, that was the sequel to Alice in Wonderland. The sequel nobody talks about. Even though that's actually where most of the shit from the Disney adaptation comes from. Oh, where is it? And now... And now... Uh, and now she's a scaly. Okay. And now Lizard. Though I, I believe this form can petrify you, so I should equip something that... One of these is an, an immunity to petrification. Oh, there it is. Again, this is one of the... Uh. <laughs> it's a gargoyle, yeah. <laughs> this is one of, again, the few times I will break uh, that rule. Like, I'll break the rule of uh, trying to keep things within... Uh, Why are you a lizard? Because the... I Because uh, I believe uh, the head... Like, the head hunter in the uh, story... Didn't they, like, change appearance based on the, like, head they had or something? I don't... Oh, I know, it's poison, poison. not petrification. Shit. You're about to die, bitch. Uh, uh. And now let me use my special soul called Bites the Dust. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I won't point the poison immunity then. Immunity to curse, petrification. Should be a poison one somewhere in here. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Immunity to poison. There we go. Because what I believe what the poison uh, does is I think that actually lowers your damage. But the dive, bitch. Thank you, Bonnie. Like I said, it's actually really, really good range. Now I got the headhunter. And now because I actually I got that one, I'm still probably going to primarily walk around with the peeping eye so that I don't have to constantly look at the map to remember where secret walls are. Headhunter is probably the best uh, yellow soul in the game because it increases all of your stats based on the souls you have except it will it also increase based on multiples of the same soul i believe it's every i think eight souls it will like it gives you a stat increase but it can be any eight like four of these zombie officer would be half of that yeah, okay. and i believe for individual souls it caps at 16 of an individual soul i think that was where it capped i don't re remember be because when you get to the ludicrous number of it being capped like it, it's stupid but again i'm primarily going to keep the peeping i just so i don't have to, uh, to constantly open the map to look for secret doors stop being a peeping tom though i though because i do have the head hunter now i will be putting that on in bosses it's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic so anyway what is your opinion on the headhunter soul like Curzon said this soul can be incredibly useful but the overall usefulness really depends on if you have been grinding souls or not but if you are going for 100% of all souls, then it can be incredibly useful because the boost you get from this soul is really good. And the more you grind, the better it becomes. And overall, even if you're only trying to get one of every soul in the game, you still end up with a pretty decent boost 
to your stats overall. So this specific soul is worth having. And if you go out of your way to grind, it can become incredibly overpowered. But even if you're just trying to get one of every soul in the game, the Headhunter soul still ends up really good overall. Anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments. Or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links as well as my Discord links are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute if you subscribe to the channel. And if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I hope I will see you all next time. So as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Everybody, I hope you'll come back someday. See you later.